Hello there! Can you believe it's been a whopping 64 years since the iconic TV series Bonanza 1959 graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrilling mysteries of Bonanza. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. Okay, let's explore together. Mitch Vogel graced the screen as the character, Jamie Hunter Cartwright, casting his vibrant presence at the age of 12 during the 1968 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 67-year-old, he's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Alhambra, California. I just want to make it legal. No, you don't. It's all because of that dumb old paper in school, and that Finney McLean, that's all. You don't really want me around here. Jamie, let... They, they let him write a script, and I remember them saying that they were blown away at how good the script was. Another thing that's interesting about him directing is... He... In 1960... Ray Till graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Sheriff Ray Coffey, a role he brought to life at the age of 58. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on April 2, 1976, he left us due to natural causes at the age of 74 in Santa Monica, California. Plain blackmail, that's what it is, just ordinary plain blackmail. Then it all depends on which end you're on. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear that you were in cahoots with him. Michael Landon graced the screen as the character Joseph Little Joe Cartwright, casting his vibrant presence at the age of 23 during the 1959 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on July 1, 1991, due to pancreatic and liver cancer at the age of 54 in Malibu, California. All right. Yeah, let's do something different today. Your hands in shape. We'll work on the body. All right. Because in its own way, to be very honest with you, I think... David Canary graced the screen as the character Candy Canada, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 29 during the 1967 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on November 16, 2015, due to natural causes, at the age of 77 in Wilton, Connecticut. What in the hell are you doing? Well, I decided the guy was gay. Pernell Roberts graced the screen as the character Adam Cartwright, casting his vibrant presence at the age of 31 during the 1959 filming. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on January 24, 2010, he left us due to pancreatic cancer at the age of 81 in Malibu, California. Now, if a bullet passes through you, you're liable to kick the bucket, aren't you? Sure. Anybody knows that? Why not? If this toothpick, which is long... Library. Yes, I should think so. You certainly picked the right cruise. Two weeks, the Panama Canal, the exotic Caribbean. I read the... In 1959, Lauren Green graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Ben Cartwright, a role he brought to life at the age of 44. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on September 11, 1987, he left us due to pneumonia following heart surgery at the age of 72 in Santa Monica, California. Yes, of course, you, you, if you're on long enough playing a certain character, like 14 years, uh, people begin to... In 1959, Dan Blocker graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Eric Haas Cartwright, a role he brought to life at the age of 31. It is with heavy hearts that we recall May 13, 1972, when he sadly departed at the age of 43 in Los Angeles, California, following a battle with pulmonary embolism. That's what you want, man. Uh, we love. Marvelous. Now, 
I'll be completely disillusioned, Dan, if you tell me that they now have also juvenile. Victor Sen Young graced the screen as the character Hop Singh, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 44 during the 1959 filming. It is with heavy hearts that we recall November 1st, 1980, when he sadly departed at the age of 65 in North Hollywood, California, following a battle with accidental asphyxiation. Take a little with him. They be back. Hmm? Mr. Hoss up there, he smell food cooking. He come to food like hoeing pitch. They cook barely five dinner. Five years ago. No can keep dinner warm. In 1960, Grandin Rhodes graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Dr. J.P. Martin, a role he brought to life at the age of 56. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on June 9, 1987, he left us due to long illness at the age of 82 in Encino, Los Angeles, California. In 1961, Bing Russell graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Deputy Clem Foster, a role he brought to life at the age of 35. It is with heavy hearts that we recall April 8, 2003, when he sadly departed at the age of 76 in Thousand Oaks, California, following a battle with cancer. He's practicing that time. You think he found this? Well, I don't know. I know his mother. 